Spartan Stadium is sold out. A bowl-like championship atmosphere. 13 unbeaten teams remain in Division 1A. Two of them are here today. A huge day in college football, and there's no better place to be than right here in Spartan Stadium for this one. The Wolverines and the Spartans coming up. What a great scene for college football. Spartan Stadium, more than 72,000 have poured in here today. A deep kick. Hagrid is seven yards deep, and he'll down it to bring it out to the 20. First down, Wolverines. Thomas, nothing. Second down and nine. Almost intercepted. Second down and long for Burke. Throws out. Here's the first pass caught by Plaxico Burris. Here's Burke. Has time. Looks out there. He's got Burris. Move the chains for Michigan State. This is a mistake I think Michigan's already making, Tim. I think you need to come up and play these receivers. They're giving them too much room. This is Tom Brady now in third down and all kinds of pressure. Ronaldo Hill came on the blitz from the corner spot. And Tom Brady never had a chance. Well, Jeff Backus, the left tackle, didn't pick it up fast enough. And when he finally saw it, couldn't get his feet over there in time. It's going to come from the left. Brady's never going to see it until it's too late. Then he just tries to get rid of the ball, but he can't get anything on the ball. <laughs> the fact that it's a strong guy that's going to try and jack him up a little bit. <laughs> Here's the flip flicker. Burke looking deep. He's looking for Burris. He's got it. Burris at the 20. Plexico Burris inside the 10. They'll mark it at the 1. He was working against James Whitley, a pickup of 68 yards. But in a game like this, emotional game, no score in the game, you know it's going to end up probably being a big play that's going to turn the tide. You have a chance for anywhere from five to ten big plays a game. Good job, play action. You have a good running game. You get the play action. You get the pitch back. This time, Burke keeps it inside the receiver. Burris doesn't even have to break stride. We saw a couple other passes where the receiver had to turn to the outside where Burke threw where Burr him too far outside. This time hits him right in stride. So Michigan State comes in with a jumbo package. Looking for power football. The rules down here, straight ahead, no fair dodging. Duck it. Touchdown, Michigan State. So Burris set it up, and T.J. Duckett finished it off. You're right there. There's nothing fancy down there. The defensive line is just trying to get penetration. The offensive line just tries to engulf. They put it on the running back. That time it was Duckett, and the defense has to put it on the linebackers. Advantage Michigan State on that play. Michigan's first first down of the game, so it's first and ten. Shea hit immediately. Nothing there. Great penetration that time by T.J. Turner and Julian Peterson. I think we'll see them on defense today. They did that, of course, because of the passing right. offense that they were playing against. Here's the reverse. This is Walker. And absolutely nobody fooled. Great patience by the Michigan State defense. Hanson's got pressure and throws it away. Intentional ground, and there's a flag. An excellent field position that they need to take advantage of. Here they go again to the big tight end, McCoy. Ivory McCoy still on his feet. McCoy all the way down to the 26. This has plenty of distance, and it's good. Officially a 43-yard field goal. Thomas loses another yard. First down, Wolverines. Hanson's going to throw right away. They escape ability you talked about earlier, and he loses two yards. Third down, 
and nine for Michigan, and it's almost picked off. Plenty of time for Burke. He's looking for Burris. Burris has a step and makes the catch. All the way down to the 25-yard line. Third down and a long nine. And Henson can't escape. And there he is again, Robert Smith. T.J. Turner got there first. Smith finished him off a loss of 11. David Terrell now goes to defense. They put him on Plaxico Burris to see if they can stop him. And there they are right there. First down, Michigan State. All right, I talk about jamming Burris at the line of scrimmage, so Terrell tries it. Look at Burris. Oh, what a nice job. And then oh. goes after him. That's a smart play by Burris. I'll tell you what, that's the first time somebody challenged Burris all day, and he said, you know what, you want to challenge me, I'm going to punch you right in the face and hit you after that. That's a smart play by Burris. Here they are again on second down and 10 at the bottom of your screen. Here's the matchup here again. And they're going to Burris. He's got the catch. Burke has time. Looks into Scott. Scott's got the catch. Touchdown, Spartans. Second down and long, and Hanson's got company. He escapes the first wave, but again, Robert Smith takes him down. Three sacks by the Michigan State defense this afternoon. T.J. Turner got there first. Smith will get credit for the sack. Well, two things going on here. Michigan, number one, not picking up the blitz. And number two, Michigan State's in a position. Anthony Thomas, they're just out of position, just diving at the guy. Michigan just looks like they're not going through the motion, but they're not getting in front of people. Whenever you see offensive people diving for the block, they're not moving their feet enough. Michigan's not blocking well enough, and Michigan State is now up 20 to 10, and they have been for the last few series, pinning their ears back and just rushing the passer. Third down and 18, it's deafening in here. Henson steps up in the pocket, reloads. Has it picked off. Eric Morris. Inside the 20 to the 17 yard line. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's third down and long for Michigan State. To the corner, Burris, touchdown, Spartans. his life. Well, this game has been everything it was built up to be. Both clubs 2-0 in the conference, both 5-0, both highly ranked. Here goes Moss. Moss inside the five, still on his feet. Touchdown to Juan Moss, the fullback for Michigan State. Third down and a long nine, almost 10. Bill Burke with time, throws. Who's he looking for? He's looking for Plexico Burris. He's got it. First down. Michigan State. Ten catches for Burris. Oh, what an afternoon he's had. Past Andre Risen today for the school record in receiving yards. Well, today, Chevrolet's players of the game, Tom Brady and Plexico Burris. In recognition of their efforts, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. And beginning this year, Chevrolet will also donate $1,000 to the two high schools. That's Green Run High School in Virginia Beach for Plexico Burris and Sierra High School in San Mateo, California for Tom Brady. What a game they played today. 34-31, the Spartans beat the Wolverines of Michigan. Once again, the final score, Michigan State 34, Michigan 31. Coming up next, another Big Ten battle. Purdue travels to Ohio State. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com, part of the GO Network. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, continuing the tradition of excellence.